With the second week of Trials of Osiris here, we have new weapons in the loot pool, and one of those weapons is the Astral Horizon, the new shotgun from Trials of Osiris. This shotgun is a massive, massive deal. It has an incredible perk pool, as well as a favorable archetype and competitive stats. I can confidently say that the Astral Horizon is the best shotgun in the game. I often don't say that things are the absolute best, but I firmly believe that Astral Horizon is the best shotgun in the game. I was insanely lucky enough to get what I define as a god roll of this weapon on my second drop. On my roll I have both rifled and full choke, assault mag, quick draw, opening shot, and a reload masterwork. I would say this is a near perfect roll and the only things that you could debate being different perhaps is Accurize instead of Assault Mag depending on what you value as well as a ranged masterwork rather than a reload masterwork. The very best available perks on this weapon as a whole is Rifled, Full Choke, Assault Mag or Accurized, Quick Draw or Slide Shot, Opening Shot, Swashbuckler or Elemental Capacitor. Most of these perk options are pretty self-explanatory and we're going to be diving into Opening Shot in just a moment. I know that some of you might be wondering why I'd recommend Elemental Capacitor or Slide Shot in place of Quick Draw and the only reason I mention these is just because Elemental Capacitor gives you a very large boost to handling if you are running an Arc subclass. So if you do main an Arc subclass and you want something along the lines of a Slide Shot and Quick Draw except for a Kinetic Shotgun, this is a combination that would emulate that. So this shotgun, like I mentioned, is a big deal for a few reasons. Firstly, like I said, it's the aggressive archetype, which is the best one hit kill range and the most consistency of any shotguns right now currently. But more importantly, it's a kinetic shotgun that has quick draw available on it. There previously has not been any aggressive shotguns whatsoever in the kinetic slot that have quick draw available. The closest thing was an imperial decree and you can kind of emulate quick draw with threat detector and snapshot. That still in my opinion wouldn't cut it or compare to that of a mindbender's ambition with quick draw and there wasn't any shotgun that would compare to that in the kinetic slot up until now where we now have a shotgun in the kinetic slot that can rival the capabilities of the mindbender's ambition. I think most of us would have been really just content with a quick draw aggressive shotgun in the kinetic slot right or even just a precision shotgun with quick draw in the kinetic slot but no this shotgun went over and above like i talked about in the available perks this shotgun didn't only come with quick draw it came with opening shot now this combination of perks quick draw and opening shot has not been seen yet on an aggressive shotgun and the combination of quick draw and opening shot is the power duo of perks to maintain and create the best consistency possible on a shotgun. Opening shot gives the first shot of an attack or the first shot every few seconds improved accuracy and range. So of course this is going to be very beneficial just for pushing out your range stat as far as possible and in some cases makes it so that you don't actually have to spec into range as much to still get very good damage output at very far range compared to some shotguns that would have to spec into range to do that. Secondly on nearly all the weapons in the game the range stat has an effect on the accuracy cone to make it tighter so it makes your weapon more accurate. In the most recent sandbox update this was changed so that this no longer does that on shotguns and each archetype of shotgun has just a dedicated accuracy cone. Basically the potential area where your spread of pellets could go. Because opening shot increases accuracy now although I don't have much of a tangible way to prove this theoretically it could improve the accuracy cone on the shotgun which would be very valuable considering that cannot be affected by the range stat anymore. With accuracy on weapons in Destiny 2 there's a chance where your bullet won't go completely straight and be ever so slightly offset which makes a more drastic difference at different ranges depending on the weapon type. I can guarantee about opening shot though is improved accuracy gives your bullets a higher degree of consistency by giving them a better opportunity to be going straight most of the time exactly pinpoint where you're aiming them which of course on a shotgun if more pellets are going straight of course gives you a little bit better consistency. Let's talk a bit about numbers now and our one hit kill range. With Astral Horizon and opening shot I was able to get consistent kills at around 8 meters and occasionally even get kills at 8.5 and very occasionally even 9 meter kills which is pretty insane for post nerf shotguns. 
I did, of course, test Full Choke as well with Opening Shot, but it didn't seem to offer any sort of improved one-hit kill distance or even consistency for that matter, and didn't really appear to hit any lucky longer range shots most of the time either. And this is definitely in line with what we did at the beginning of the season when we initially tested shotguns. Cam's roll of the mind bender with Full Choke did not do as well on a consistent basis as my Rifled Barrel one, so my choice right now is Rifled Barrel. I did want to take a look at the difference in range that Opening Shot was providing, me with, so I decided to test against another 41 range shotgun. I have a Mindbender's Ambition with 41 range, my Astral Horizon has 41 range with Rifled, so luckily they had the exact same range stat to test, and with my Mindbender's I was able to hit 20 to 21 damage per pellet at 9 meters. With Astral Horizon though, and opening shot, its pellets were hitting for 22 or 23 damage per pellet, which is much closer to the full damage of an aggressive shotgun. Now turning on my Mindbender's range stat and putting Rifled on it, giving it 50 range at 9 meters my mind bender was hitting for 21 or 22 damage per pellet whereas my astral horizon was hitting between 22 to 23 damage per pellet still of course so still doing a little bit more damage closer again to the full damage output potential of an aggressive shotgun so at the beginning of the video when I was talking about my roll that I got and calling it a god roll of course but maybe taking assault mag for a little bit more rate of fire rather than accurize and more range and even being content with a reload masterwork rather than a range master to work. The reason being is because opening shot really makes up for a lot of your range loss so you don't have to spec into range as heavily and still get the same effectiveness. And I do believe that even a slight bump in rate of fire as well as a faster reload could be the difference in some shotgun fights and some scenarios so that you come out with the kill and alive of course. Another really cool thing about opening shot was hip fire kills and hip fire in general felt really consistent. I was able to get hip fire kills at around 8 meters pretty regularly and this is most likely to do with the accuracy bonus of opening shot. This is really useful for consistency because there's going to be times where you don't want to have to ADS or zoom in a little bit more at those awkward angles when someone's meleeing you and you just want to be able to have your full FOV and shotgun them very clearly. And even there's going to be times where you just don't want to ADS so that you can have a little bit of a faster flick or sensitivity and again you're going to ensure that you're going to get some decent or pretty good consistency at the hip even when firing because of opening shot. You have to remember that aim down with the weapon changes its sweet spot zoom levels change the quote-unquote sweet spot of a weapon basically the point that the aim assist cone is as wide as possible so you have the highest chance for bullets to be aim assisted and of course register as a hit or have the most forgiveness so sometimes like I said in those awkwardly close angles or when someone's kind of rubber banding back and forth meleeing you hip firing could be the key and this will give you more consistency to be confident in doing so. I know at this point I really shouldn't have to explain much about quick draw. It's incredible on shotguns. It's insane being able to put in some chip damage with a weapon, especially like a hand cannon, which deals some pretty good damage instantaneously, and then just swap to a shotgun to clean up, because priming them with a hand cannon will allow you to get a further one hit kill distance because they're weaker with your shotgun. So quick draw is just incredibly good for that. And of course, being able to put in damage with your shotgun and then quick swap to a hand cannon or another weapon to clean up the kill especially if you were just barely outside of that one hit kill distance is incredibly advantageous it means you're not kind of caught with your pants down and just super vulnerable because you didn't get your one hit kill even if you find yourself in a scenario where someone was farther than you expected you're able to again quick swap to your primary and have a chance at contesting them still rather than again being caught with your pants down and being super vulnerable it takes essentially the risk away from shotgunning in many scenarios. But of course this isn't anything new with shotguns. We know why Mindbenders is so insane and a lot of the reason is because it's a high impact archetype with quick draw. And now we have that same type of a shotgun available in the kinetic slot. Now trust me, I'm really excited that this shotgun even tried to go over and above that and bring opening shot with that combination for consistency. But I think perhaps the best part of the shotgun isn't that it went over and above, it's that it now opens up so many other weapons because again there's something for them to be paired with that is comparable and can compete to the Mindbender's ambition. Now of course Spare Rations and Dire Promise, they're really good hand cannons, they're some of the best and of course you see a lot of the top players using them. But part of the reason they're using them is because of Mindbender's ambition. There are some of the best weapons and especially hand cannons in the game that live in the energy slot. Things like Not Forgotten, Waking Vigil, Jack Queen King, maybe even Sunshot. And that's just hand cannons. That's not including pulse rifles, auto rifles, etc. 
The best part of this weapon's existence is the fact that it now opens up so many other top tier options that you don't have to feel limited by using even though they're individually great simply because they don't have an adequate pairing in terms of shotguns. The last small thing that I noticed about this shotgun, which was actually pretty cool, is that it actually has some pretty good sights. At first, it might look bulky to you, but that circle there is actually very representative of the accuracy cone itself when you're in aim down sights, or rather the circle that you would see at the hip, which tightens a little bit while you're aim down sights. And if you ever just try an ADS in and out really quickly, you'll notice that the circle actually tightens and perfectly matches the circle and the sights of the shotgun which is really useful. That means it's an actual shotgun sight that you can aim with and you can intentionally try and place your pellets the best possible rather than just using two little dinky rails and hoping for the best. This shotgun's all about consistency and opening up new weapon options like my trusty not forgotten that I love chaperone, but now I can pair it with a traditional shotgun if I feel I need to, which is awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like the shotgun. Get your god roll of this. I very much recommend it. This is one of the best shotguns in the game, if not the best one. If you guys like the video and you want to see more content like this, though, you can check me out on Twitch. I stream pretty frequently, twitch.tv slash I hope to see you there, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.